heavily over the middle of the map. Technically, four players nearby. The execute looks to be coming through as the dirt covers. Claude Burns and everything else seems to be coming out. Neptune disbanding will fortunately find one kill for IMT. But still with this, they're going to be forced to try to find a retake as the spike will likely go down. Odorus gets very close and personal and is able to get the kill onto Shut Up. JMO trades him out at least. It's good marketplace control. But look how far facing Dignitas are, specifically Depth, right in this little corner on the left. JC Stun is going to try and clear off B main. There is nobody there on the side of Dig, but they are trying to get ever close. Even the players playing on site are holding right on Catwalk. Sam is able to face and go in a bit more, but now Ooh. cleanup is good for Immortals at Dignitas at this point. But they're making their way onto the A main site. Gangsta tries to actually push through this. Shot up on the site itself will find one kill. It's an instant trade. The recon bolt is not going to find information on Gangsta as he gets into a dark cover. Spike is trying to go down. It will go down successfully. Now 4v4, door starting to close, but Immortals will delete it, trying to open up some opportunity to get into the site quickly. But Dignitas are positioned in a pretty solid position. You've got one player in Psalm playing very defensively over through A main, and then a split as far as where the post plant setup on the site itself is. So Immortals, how are you going to break through this? JMO's got a ton of utility left, including all three of his cloud bursts. Shot up up top, no more leers. Just tries to take a peek, and he finds the kill plus and his miss. Down. Now down low. Yeah, he's able to combine, yeah, but it's Makalov, the last one left over towards the doorway. He's in a 1v2 situation. Gets a read off his recon bolt. Yeah, knows he's yeah, being yeah, challenged. Yeah, finds the first. Looking for the last. All you have to do is shoulder this, and he will take it. The last bullet. Makalov for me to play. Pending that he gets the call up from his teammates that they're going to need the help. And as Shot Up is able to find the first is blood, there's the Cyber Gates. JMO is able to get there. There's the From the Shadows onto the site. It'll go through the back. It'll realize that, yes, yeah, Superman is on the site, but he's completely by himself. And it's going to take a really special yeah. moment here from either Superman or from Makalov to likely get their way in. But as Maka falls, it's just going to be down to Super to really make a play here as really Def can't do anything but try to stay alive in the middle of two different members from Mortals. Not going to be able to grab it. Super's able to get the spike down at least, but that will be it as the Mortals find a very clean retake, only dropping one. So now all of a sudden, your operator's on the opposite side of the map. Dignitas are in a 3v question mark on the site. They do recognize that JMO has his operator here, plus he was the one to hit the Blade Storm. Recon Bolt will scout that out, but Sunny. down low, JC Stady can't even find the first. So the overheal comes through. Hunter's Fury is going to be called out for Gangsta defensively, but he can't even stop the spike from being planted. j is going to need to find a kill, can't grab Psalm. And now Dignitas, and what was a 3v question mark hit, come through cleanly with a spike plant, and now they have a 4v3 situation in front of them. Lightstorm is still going to be in use on the attack. The Empress, Shut Up has available if he wants to try and clutch this out at least. There's going to be used to try and break on. Paranoia is good, doesn't have a kill to follow up, but it stalls a bit more. And Mac is able to take advantage of that with a nice kill towards Tree. I mean, they might be able to catch Dignitas as they're still hitting the site. This is a 50-50, a recon bolt defensively is good for him to be able to find one, but Psalm is able to grab the trade. Aldrone is now also out. Shot up, able to work his way through mid-market to find one, but Odorous continues to lock down the rotations. He's now trapped though, has to take a peek and JMO will punish. So a 2v3 situation, Diggs still have not planted the spike yet. Death, if he can catch timing, could even the odds, but no, it's JC Stady at range to find the kill and everything comes down to Supa. Spam shots just gone a bit awry, but as soon as this dirt cover expires, he's gonna have two people looking right at him. Gangsta was ready for it and Immortals do hold successfully, but your call it is 100% correct, Ryan. The Find up to bounce off the wall. JMO's got the dash, so he's going to be able to face and get out of there. Depth's opened oh, it up. The rotation has come in just enough that it's put JMO off an aggressive angle. It's an opening for Dig. And there's no way Neptune can get here. He's got to move very, very slowly. But the information off another recon bolt is incredible. JC standing for three. Depth able to find Neptune mid-map. Keeps things in a 2v2, but time is a problem. And the spike is down on the site. Odorous is going to be forced to One contest. He doesn't read JC standing in the corner. Oh. And JC standing for five. Okay, if you're dig. This time nice through, bank. though, off of an abbreviated buy, they're going to look to get very aggressive. Oh, Ooh. the tailwind gets body blocked by shot up, but Odor's able to make use of the gates to hold down the trigger. Will be able to answer back with two of his own. Now Neptune, he's going to have to be the last one over through mid-market, getting some help from JMO finally, but the lockdown will come through and the spike will be planted. We've got ourselves a 2v3 to finish out round 12. The lockdown is just honestly going to bring Dignitas a bit of a breather and allow them to take some aggressive space. We saw this in the third round with the Spectres that they had, but it seems that they want to 
dedicate to this, and I like it because Death is now in a really tricky position to uproot if they don't check him. They're just going to smoke him off. Immortals need to get the idea out of their head that they're still on the site, so I like this from Dig. Death is going to poke through. Nobody's going to check him out. The spray is decent. JC Stanley, though, gets super onto the site. Death is just trying to get out of line of sight for now. It's more a case of JMO just stalling it out. JC Stanley, I think, was just going to full dedicate this miss if he wants to get out of there, but he's going to be able to meet them. Gets caught out. It's a big loss considering nobody from Immortals is able to trade. And no ultimate's online to sort of bring this site back. It's looking yeah. like Immortals have the upper hand here. Now you have no more flashes really to spend to try to work your way unless Super is still holding onto a paranoia, which he is. And as he finds a kill over the tree, maybe there's an opportunity for them to still swing on this, but Death is still a mile and a half away. And so he's going to have to get here quickly as well if they're going to really play for this retake. Odorous is in a very vulnerable spot with this operator. He can really only check a couple of angles. So this for Dignitas has to come by way of the tree. Empress will be popped for Immortals who really want this ninth round. Shot up, playing from a low angle just underneath Heaven. Doesn't see the information onto Odorous. The Paranoia does connect. So all of a sudden, it's back along from the back. Super as well. They combine for a couple in the long range. Stinger shots are good for death. A last second hit for Dig on the ring. Shooting at it. So now all of a sudden, there will be a quick rotation for Immortals to get here. IMT trying to force their way in. Psalm is good for one and a second. Neptune will open up some space on the site, but Psalm finds a third. Dismisses away. Looking for the fourth, but needs to go to the reload. Tough timing here. And while that's all occurred, it's going to be JMO to find a kill with the blade from leaving Digs to a 2v2. Psalm now on the Empress, Spike being planted by JC Stadium, but Psalm wants to contest the post point immediately. Not gonna lock down the shots. Just down to death, 1v2 situation. Has a read on one, but does he know where the second is? Should he hear the reload coming through? And as he checks the corner, he finds one, tries to transfer. Still lockdown. sees one coming through, the lockdown is earned and it will be spent. JC Stadium has to decide how he wants to play and for some reason, death- Rotating around the way that they did. A site is looking to be hit. Not really much for Dignitas to work with, both with guns and ults and bodies, because they're in a four versus five. It's again whether the case of if Immortals feel the need to use any ultimates. Odorous is going to get through for three. Another great recon bolt coming oh, out, man. this time from Maka. And he's able to get a couple more at least at this point in a one versus two. Gangsta trying to clear some of these angles, quite happy to give up his positioning, but he can't check the two angles at once. It's a nice peek, it's a nice dash, a nice... Odorous through A long now. They're going to know that the only hit that could potentially come through is through B main or through mid market. Makalov for one will fall. No more opportunity for the Hunter's Fury. And Psalm, who's already in the Empress, he's going to watch one of his teammates fall. Nicely able to get the dismiss. The Invis comes through. He finds another. That's the third for Psalm. One more nearby. Dismisses away. Wants to take the Chell. Knows exactly where Neptune is. And it's easy for four kills for Psalm. 12 9 up. And a mind to find information. Spike will go down, but there is some damage that will be confirmed. Lockdown still potentially to come through. Death trying to place this one safely over towards Garden. You should run. Superman with another kill. Now you've got a shock dart to come through. Recon bolt nearby. Can you find anything in the dark cover here for Neptune? No, Mac is going to spam it and find the kill. It's a 5v2. Immortal's last chance. Gangsta will find one and a second, but he's <gasps> going to be detained and... Wait a second, he doesn't see him! No way! And Stanny finds another kill! No way Gangs is able to just walk away from this! Now JC Stanny, he's gotta look at Odorus, finds the kill! JC Stanny for three! And Immortals steal away the round! Best blood here. And so many ultimates were off the table. Death, he's able to find first blood. The double operator setup will pan out. I have the spike. That was just a kill over through B main. Spike is still staying safe. And how about this? You have isolated Odorous, who's on the backside of wine. He's taking a shot and he's down to 30 HP. So Dick has to come to his rescue. A little bit of saving Private Ryan in the mix right here. There will be a trade, but at least he was able to find one. That'll keep the numbers in favor of Dig for now. And Psalm was getting a bit aggressive. He will back through. And while that has occurred, it's going to be JMO who falls mid-map, and that's going to lead to, again, a big number situation for Diggs trying to finish off this map. Dignitas haven't really reacted to the recon bolt coming through. It's going to be a bit late. They could have snuck in otherwise, but Sam has got one. He knows that the last is there. Nice dismiss to just get out there when things were looking a little bit awkward. Gangster now waiting for that peak to come in from Maka. He's got that utility. He's going to use it. The shot that forces him out on an angle. He sees all three of them. There's no real time to rotate. He's got to take these angles one by one. He is an operator staring at him. He's just trying to jiggle peek it. This is a goal, oh, but he's able to break it down bit by bit. It's almost an impossible task, but the amount of shots that... 
knowing that eventually your offense are gonna have to go aggressively to get onto site. Pancho's gonna come through for Gangsta. Now down low, he gets a great read off of some intel gathering tools. And even though he loses Neptune, they still go one for one. A ton of damage is confirmed up the paint shells. And now the defensive reinforcements are here for Immortals as they hold the high ground. The only difference is the fact that you do have one player in Psalm looking to maybe challenge this as soon as the retake does confirm to go. So how do you hold on to the site if you're dig? JC standing from the backside screens. Paranoia is going to come through. There's the execute. One player up nice top paranoia. though. You got to keep an eye on through. It's going to be, again, up top for the side of Psalm. Gangsta on the site. This is Immortals considering that everything was in front of them, but Psalm will find a kill up top. Not going to respond. Psalm for two. Needs to find the last, though. Gets a couple of overheals. Tries to take the shell down low, and he can read JC standing in the force by for Dig Will Pan. Yeah, they need to come in clutch. This is everything for Immortals. You lose this battle, you likely lose the round because no one has full armor for the side of Immortals. And now the flash comes through. Decent trades, though, for the side of IMT as there's good help from JC standing. JMO's still caught out. One more flash <laughs> comes through. Makalov able to find the kill, but the Operator staying concealed will still punish. So we'll get a 3v2 early after a dicey engagement over through A-Ramps favoring Immortals' defense. But these two surviving players from Dignitas, they weren't a part of that execution. They were taking all of this space. The issue is, is the spike was left in A main at this point. Supper's going to be watching for any rotations that come through. There is a tripwire there. And Immortal's only down to three players at this point. It's very difficult for them to just contain all areas of this map. They're doing their best. Most Dignitas don't have an extra person to make this a free versus free. It's a big ass from Death who's going to walk right into the sightline of an operator. Shoulder comes through. JMO. Gonna patiently wait, and the sentry turret is gonna do a bit of chip damage. <laughs> JMO having a little bit of a dance. Dig down to 30 seconds. We're gonna have to confirm this. This is actually a significant amount of damage onto JMO. He's now down to 46 health, which you might say is kind of whatever, but the fact that you've got specters, that puts him in the realm of possibility to get killed, and now that the phantom has been collected, there's an opportunity here, but Gangsta needed to respond, and he does. Depto gonna have an opportunity. What happened there? Neptune just dancing a little bit. B through B main, and there. again, JMO's not giving up the low ground to B. He's gonna continue to hold this operator in a really tight spot. Shot up in a tight corner. Needs to win the first gunfight. Not able to do it, but at least there's a trade. So we'll stay 4v4, but the Empress is off the table for Immortals. It is still available, though, for Dignitas. Shoulder peaks and jumps coming through, and JMO's still able to convert on a kill. Big moment there for JMO to get the operator online early. Look at the positioning yet again of depth that's in a similar spot that we saw him in last time. The tripwire has meant that he's going to be just stopping in this position right now. And a lot of spread out map control from Dig is now going to be focused towards hitting this A site. There's Cypher utility there as well as the Omen anchored onto the site with her from the shadows if he needs to get out of there. But a rotation going to come in. That tripwire was broken. Another one. And the models know exactly what's going to be going on. Oh, but JC standing on the site might just be enough. Neptune does get taken down, so now it's left. all on to JC. Lear's going to feel the deny line of sight. Depth able to convert into the kill. Now it's the JMO crouching underneath the song. Gates the last one left. The spike is down. 20 seconds. Showstopper coming through. Gets thrown out, and it just catches Depth on the way through. Lockdown will be spent. Not going to fall down to 7 HP, but the fact that he's still alive is valuable. And as JC standing finds the kill, that's going to lead to numbers here for Immortals. The Empress popped up for shot up. And he's got Leers to spend as they try to work their way through, but Dignitas are still holding for now. Three ultimates used to get this plant in, and all five members of Immortals alive. There is a bit of damage in, it's a spray, it's now quickly down to a two versus one. Death is just on the site, trying to wrap around as much as possible, but he's going to get pinted at the same time. Oh. Timing is a little bit awkward there as JC Stunny gets a pretty easy kill as Death wraps around. Immortals 5-2 up and Dignitas used a lot there to try and break on through. There is the Leer in the dark cover to come through. Now the showstopper will be pulled out, but Gangsta finds nothing with it. That's the top side of A Tower now being controlled by Dig. That's going to have to come down to Neptune on the site, and he's good for two. The lockdown also called. That's placed over towards ropes, but JC Standy can stay safe on the A site. He'll find another kill, and Dig will be forced to rotate back to B, in which if they can do this quick enough, it should left. lead to a free plant, but Immortals will be quick to be here for the potential reason take death shuts down spot up though is that'll be a nice little hold for him alarm bot will also come through to watch the rotation and this is all of a sudden pretty doable for dig and they've got much more map control than they did last time and it's a very similar play pretty much the same play is alive it's just worse guns maka 
tries to face with the sheriff. It's just a case of if Theft can hold on to this high ground. He's got the stinger. He's able to do some damage in, but position is given up. It's just rain in nano swarms now to see if he can confirm a kill at least. He can get a third. He has to ace it if he wants to clutch out this round at least. There's only so many bullets left in the stinger. He can make it close. It's pretty much up to the classic. The defuse might be stuck by JMO. He's at least wanted to get it halfway. It's an incredible ace from Death. He had no right getting that round. That Dave will be able to full purchase up, and six is still on the table, most importantly. JMO's going to be peeking with the operator. Oh, Nobody's no. checked him, but he just blanks out the boom bot's going to give away that position. That was an opening that could cost him in future rounds or even in this one. JMO can at least get to Sam and his trade. Odorous, who's able to get a couple more, including Shot Up, who gets the frag onto Maka. Free versus free. Nice angle from JMO, who again misses a shot, has to back off. Watch They're the giving blank. Dignitas so much room to breathe, but Gangsta's wrapped around yet again. You do have a sentry turret, though, that's going to read Gangsta. He has to commit to this angle. So the 1v1 that's about to occur between Def and Gangsta is everything, but Gangsta's going to sneak behind the sentry turret. That should be a free kill. Able to grab it, and now all of a sudden, Immortals have numbers and position on the map. The paint shells are also very well placed. Really nowhere for Odorous to go. He's taken down extremely low, but Super finds a kill. Paranoia comes through. Neptune can't challenge, and Gangsta thought he flushed out the angle. Odorous for a third. Showstopper will confirm a ton of damage, and Neptune is in huge trouble. 1v2, time against him, and Super will find the kill. Here for long, this lockdown's gonna be the commitment here for Dig, and JMO is going to make sure that he's safe. He misses the shot. Now the paranoia comes through, and JMO's down. Dig all of a sudden left. with numbers. You've got the From the Shadows being used over towards B Tower. You've also got the Rolling Thunder to come down. Neptune has to kill the Boom Bot, and while he does that, Odorous finds the kill. But Shot Up and Gangsta, they respond beautifully with two kills of their own. Now look for a kill right over the top is shot up you'll find one from the post plant dismiss will come through jc steady is one here but death from behind was never scouted out so now it's just down to jc stanny the 1v2 knows where one, one is that should remanded. be a free kill and it is he's gonna stick this halfway oh. through he hold it beyond it nano storm is not in the right position no <laughs> way jc stanny stays safe Def thought that he put the nano swarm down properly. It was just is taking away the rotation through the B or pretty much through the A screens, and with that, Def will fall, and we go four v four. Here. Information wasn't really enough for Dignitas in that scenario. They just needed the weaponry. Neptune is going to take a bit more space. It's more a case of at this point, if the race spots him, Odorus gets that gets that kill with a shorty. So. I guess I was wrong. I just didn't expect it to come in that fashion. Gangsta is going to be able to spray down, and these defenders are going to try and play for the retake. But really, now it's Odorous picking up the Spectre, moving back up, and trying to get some exit frags. Might get an opportunity at one, depending on if their paths cross over through A main, or if the timing here is good. It will be. He's going to go for it. Shells to come through. <laughs> it's not enough time, regardless, but. Got to get to be four members stacked over through mid. But look at this. Dignitas actually have one member freed up through B main. They're going to find the ice to kill the JC. Stanny Odorous, he's going to be up for a couple, but doesn't actually find one. So now JMO's got a weapon to play with, and he's going to make use of it. Finds the kill. They know that they still have Super that's isolated over towards B main, so he has to back completely away. And Immortals will get onto the site, plant the spike, and they've got themselves a 4v3 situation with some pretty good health pools to work with. And they've got really good positioning as well. We've seen them on a set where they just completely split up, but they're grouping up together. They're going to try and break this down bit by bit. The turret's going to be used just to keep an eye on this angle more than anything, but a bit of aggression coming out of Immortals trying to hold off this retake, but Super punishes it. Neptune at least wins that engagement with Death. Mac has made a lot of space, and he's going to be fighting up against Neptune, who's low. Luckily against the trades, but he gets traded out by Super. 1v1, Su Super is so low health, but... Con, but... I think that's one of the reasons why, yet again, they're defaulting. And there's actually a mid-push here that could easily catch out Shutter, but he does get traded out. He's at least good for one. It's just whether a case of Immortals from this position actually decide to execute onto a map quickly, and from the Shadows does get used to go in A. The trade is fine, I think, for both sides. The problem is you've got nobody that can even read what Immortals is doing on the A site. But while all that is considered... Keep in mind that Gangsta with the spike is nowhere near this play, so it's actually going to allow an opportunity for Immortals to get set up for a quick retake. Nice paranoia, but the spam shots are better. Odorous falls, and now an opportunity for Immortals with a 4v3 to lock things up, but 
as they try to lock things up, it'll be a lockdown that gets placed for Dig. Spike could still be planted in the corner, but that should be information for Immortals, or maybe from Dig, that if they're going to get this spike planted while this lockdown is in place, it can only be in one of two places. The Aftershock was well placed, but Makalov can't convert. That's been essentially the story of his game so far. Trades back and forth. Showstopper coming through. Not even going to be next. Kingster trying to hold his ground as much as possible. He's going to have them line up perfectly, but he can only get one before he's traded out. JMO and Shut Up are going to have a piece of the pie there. And it is yet again just up to death that has given his presence known towards mid on the lurk again. And he gets a second. These are nice shots with the Sheriff. But the spike is over on A. It's on lockdown with Immortals. They are pressing up, and this could be an opening for death if he checks to his right hand side. JMO is holding super close. He looks so. Kind of weapon upgrade last round, but. He still makes use of it. And in what is an all-sheriff round for the most part here for Dig, it's not going all that well. These tap shots still good for shot up as he switches over to the ghost finally. Neptune by himself. Defensively at C, he finds one. Reads the second classic coming through. The jump shot is great. One more nearby. He's going to confirm that one too. Why not? Immortals expected to take the... And I think they're going to realize that a lot of utility sent over towards the C garage lockdown is placed. But again, like you had mentioned from a couple of maps previously, this is going to be pretty easily understood that this is just bait. And a couple of the trades will happen mid-map. It'll keep things to a 3v3. Immortals for the defense have the opportunity for a Hunter's Fury. And they've got an Empress. And shot up playing at a very unconventional angle. We'll find Def and Ganks actually confirm some damage onto one player over towards C. So now a 3v2 for Immortals. They will have to retake as Supa gets the spike down. He puts it in the back corner, but there's really not an opportunity here for Dignitas to exit over to C long, so they're going to have to hold this from the front. The read is going to be there. Paranoia will be converted as JC Standy throws it through. Empress now in the mix. The recon bolt finding a ton of value on the player on top of the site. And as the first kill comes through for shot up, it's just down to Supa. He can't combine for two. And an easy defuse comes through, and Immortals still stay perfect defensively. And that all came from Immortals just sort of reading the aggressive. You can even read a ton of information with this Aldrone. This long flank coming through from the back for Immortals might just be everything. You have to respond to this if you're Dig. JC Stanley will give up his position. Odorous with one. That's beautiful. But he says, wait a second. That's not JC Stanley. Let me get the second peek. Almost able to connect and has the tailwind away to stay safe. Dig trying to get the spike down, but it's actually going to be baited over as it's going to be a play over Ooh. to C. So all of these members for Dig on the A side are going to be a little bit trapped up here. They're completely entrapped by every single instance as they're still JC yeah. Steady playing through A main. There's two players that are outside B link and as JC finds another kill, Supa has to essentially solo clutch this. Oh! He does actually get the kill onto JMO, but he's got a gauntlet in front of him. The From the Shadows is going to be used on to C. This is all over the place at this point. Gangster actually gets us players still on the A site. Something with the operator is going to be Christmas, and that's only occasionally. There is this, even if they take these last two rounds, they're still going to be able pretty hard pressed to find a way to have just as good, if not better, of a defensive half, depending on how things go. I mean, Immortals are just. Straight out fragging. Empress pops. Psalm, nice shots to respond to it. JC Stanny, though, up for one. Second one nearby. It's JMO who will be trusted to find that kill. And then through the outside of the dark cover, there's the follow up. Neptune will clean things. C hit. Defensively, Def is going to be there. He's got a lot of his utility placed aggressively in this choke point. So now it's just down to what comes down to the timing of this play. Information is going to be red. Here come Immortals quickly through. Dirt cover being sent out. Recon bolt dealt with. Alarm bot is going to be there. Def is good for one. Def is good for two. And you think that might just be enough? Because here comes Psalm on the way in. And all the meanwhile, shot up who was lurking through B main is going to be late to this. And as JC Stanny falls with a spike through C long, now it's just down to shot up. And now his position will be known. And this what would be 1v4. There have been some really good reads on this defense. Shot up is going to do what he can at this point, though. Nobody's going to peek him. Waiting out. The spike is so far away. He's going to use that to dismiss, but he's got to take the fight. He actually does Wait. it because Super had to reload. He has no idea at this point where JMO is going to be playing from. Sorry, Odorous. He's just wrapping around yet again. He's got to play for C. Is he going to expect him around this corner, though? That's the question. Lear comes through. Odorous. Corner holds it nicely. Beautiful read in the... Luxury of the A side if you're immortals, but your two win conditions of these flanks have been denied So you've got to win these gunfights from the front and that you're gonna be pretty hard pressed to do it with just pistols Neptune's been locked down in this position 
It was Odorous that spotted him out. They kept tabs on him at least at that point. The spike does get plenty for Immortals, but really that's the only saving grace. They didn't do enough economic damage to Dignitas. Not, nothing going to come through here. Odorous, I believe, has gone in top with the Operator. Nice angle being held. And Makalov trying to help out. Def caught up a little bit too aggressively. Paranoia, Lear's coming through. Makalov deals with it. Can he find it? He kills those. The question, no. It's Immortals onto the site now with a 5e3. But Odorous is able to find two and nearly gets a third. Dignitas also committed the Empress. But Song oh. can't find anything with it. It's just down to Super for a 1v3. He's going to go quickly, but Dakes is watching it in Immortals on match point. And Immortals looking to be the place that Immortals are looking to hit. Interesting they're going to forfeit the Operator over to Gangsta. Sticking with JMO having the ability to go into a Bladestorm. Maybe they're going to use this, but Dignitas are going to get aggressive yeah. through the middle of the map. They send two through B, one through C Garage. Death locking things down with the Operator will find one. Looking for the quick scope, not going to happen. JMO into the Bladestorm. He will find one kill. Would have to be extremely clutch. The spike, by the way, still dropped that C long. Neptune's working through Garage as he finds a kill on his Supa. Still doable. Trap going to be sent out. Will be deleted. Neptune's going to understand the opportunity. JMO with the Operator able to find another kill. We're 2v2 now all of a sudden. The big thing, though, is Immortals have to back out of C to play for the spike. And it looks like they're going to commit Neptune to do just that. And it's difficult for Dignitas to get a read on this. They're actually splitting up. If they spike. get isolated, that would be a big loss for them. They're just trying to scout some information. In fact, they're more than happy to give Immortals a wide berth if they are going to plant on C. But they are spreading. We saw this on Ascent. It has oh. to come in. Unbelievably clutch now, but Hunter's Fury is going to be good to at least cut across. But yet again, it doesn't tag onto anything at all. It's just a little bit narrow. But Odorous is on a flank that they might not expect. You know, Odorous is going to have an isolated one v one here. Neptune's going to read the footsteps. So coming back to this, it's going to be JMO. The shot initially misses. Now the wide peep from Neptune. He's going to find a couple of connections, and he does confirm the kill. Last one left alive is going to be Mac. They know exactly where he's positioned, but he's able to find one. JMO misses the shot, goes to the plate storm. Backa keeping Dignitas alive in a one v two clutch. Oh, this is getting down to the wire, and I never thought I'd say that when it's looking like it's twelve. Patient play from INT, but not the same for Dig. They get aggressive through C long, and Odorous finds that kill. Does Supa give away his position at all? Because if that's a good read from Immortals, they should know that they've got numbers for A. But again, the setup is here for death. Sentry turret dealt with. Nano Storms will come out. That'll delay the you plant on default, at least for a bit. And the lockdown also going to be committed. No chance for Hunter Sury to deny it, so you got to get the spike planted, or do you? Considering it maybe a touch long, and JMO is going to have to use the Tailwind to get away from this. Everyone's going to be stuck in this back corner, but he's at least going to be avoiding the detain for now. But the retake for Dig will allow them onto the site. Big peak right here, but no, it's Odorous for the kill. 5v3. Also have the Empress coming through. Odorous will also try to commit as they know they need to win this round. It's going to be a Blade Storm out. He'll make use for one kill. Looking for another, but Ganks is able to respond. But while all this is occurring, Supa was able to hold and the spike will be defused. Dig of this window. Watch the long flank for Supa. Hunter's really going to come through and it actually is able to find a connection and a kill behind that. Odorous able to get the operator in line. And oh no, here we go. You've got Immortals who are going to commit for the Empress. Shot up, going to be trusted to find a couple. Hunter's Fury now coming through very early for Immortals. This is from A short for Gangsta. Shot up's able to find one kill. Actually able to find himself another. Knows there's a player up top. This is a 3v2 in favor of Immortals. But Solomon and Mac have five kills. Last one left is Gangsta. He gets tagged up heavy. Down to 2 HP. The shot third comes through. Makalov again clutching up. And that will be Dig now on 10. Immortals are going to have to save. We could be looking at overtime pending Dig. It's a 1v1 here in which his weapon was seen and consideration being thrown out from Supa saying, this is my garage, friend. Why don't you go ahead and back away? But it looks like actually Shadow's going to wait for a little bit of help and they will actually triple commit to taking C Garage. Now onto the site, quickly they go. Not even reading for information whatsoever. Dignitas are going to give away some space. Death going to lock things down with a lot of his utility but can't find any elimination. Gangsta another. This will be now a neuro theft, plus also the spike likely going down, but Psalm's able to find a kill. It's going to stall things for a touch. It's going to allow now all of a sudden Dignitas to get here. But Odorous, without having the ability of a Blade Storm, will have to find ways to get kills with an Operator. JC Stanny was trying to check things out with the From the Shadows. Makalov on the site! He finds two! He's going to get a third!
third, the fourth one, right around the backside, it's sold for the kill, and Dignitas! Not at sea whatsoever, so Soup is gonna have a huge role to fulfill here, but Psalm finds first blood. There is a trade. So the C Garage still contested, and depending on the timing here, JC Standy takes another big kill out of it. Two more trying to contest through, JC Standy for a third, not gonna get the fourth. 2v3 advantage tilting in favor of Immortals. Still nearby though is Death, and again, no utility for him to play with. Can he catch a player during reload? No shot up is there for the help. Everything is down to Odorous in this operator. The only opportunity for him to find a weapon would be in the C Garage. The Shock Darts will chunk him up. Odorous would have to clutch a 1v3 with an op and 12 health. And it's not looking good here, Ryan. I don't know how he's going to be able to do this. So much utility. He's giving away his position. He's having to smoke himself off and hope that somebody pushes towards him. There's no reason for Immortals, but Gangster. Attackers win. It was looking very...